Hello guys, welcome to Dad in the Dawn, it's fight week and after 24 long patient years are we about to see the next undisputed world heavyweight champion crowned. There is obviously the chance that the judges could ruin things like they did in the original Lennox Lewis Evander Holyfield match. Talking of people trying to ruin things, Big John Fury what are you doing? I think he took a massive chance doing something like that in that part of the world where crime and the law is taken a lot more seriously than it is in this country, especially for tourists, and I think he can count himself extremely lucky, there's no further action being taken, and he needs to just pipe down now and let his son do the talking in the ring. So switching back to the event itself, it has been a long time coming, it's been a good two or three years in the making, fights obviously not going ahead for various reasons, uh, pullouts, etc., but it is safe to say that this one will go ahead now. Can't see anyone pulling out at this late stage, although it would not surprise me. But with that all said, we're going to dissect both fighters' styles, compare their recent records, and try to give you our prediction of how we see this one playing out. If you do enjoy this one, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We do appreciate all the support we get, and we would really love to hear your opinions on how you think the fight's going to go out and we will try to reply to each and every one of you. So now that's out of the way, we're going to look at Alexander Usyk first and 21-0 unbeaten fighter, Olympic gold medalist, fantastic amateur pedigree and for me, he's right up there with the likes of Vasily Lomachenko as one of the most accurate and stylistic fighters of this generation. And let's not forget that being undisputed champion is not something new to him. He has held all four belts in the past, albeit at the cruiserweight level. I think that feat gets diminished quite a lot by some fans because of the weight category. But those same fans do not diminish Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. So I think he doesn't get the credit he deserves in that aspect. And I think his achievements need to be recognised on a par with those aforementioned boxers. I do, however, question his punching power at heavyweight as he is 21-0. Full team were by knockout, but he has had a lot more decision wins since moving up in weight. I think stylistically, technically, we can't argue with his skill and ability, but that punch power and knockout power, I think it's going to be very difficult for him to get the win inside the distance. He is going to have to probably win on points here. He's also given up significant height and reach disadvantage, so he will have to look to get on the inside. And that's the only way I could see him ever scoring a knockout is through accumulation, which again, I can't personally see. I think it will have to be on points. And a lot of that will be determined by which Tyson Fury turns up and the tactics he installs. I think as well, when we look at Tyson Fury, outside of the Klitschko fight and the Wilder trilogy, there has been a lot of inactivity, a lot of ring rust, a lot of subpar performances. So it is really hard for us to judge which Tyson is going to turn up and which one we're basing our opinions on. As I do feel, if we get the Fury that turned up against Soto Wallin and most recently against Francis Ngannou, it could be a pretty poor showing and could be an easy night's work for Usyk. But if we get the Fury that turned up for the Wilder trilogy, then we could be in for an amazing night. And it does look like, to be fair, he has taken it seriously. He has got himself in fantastic shape by the pictures we've seen coming out of training camp. So fingers crossed, it's going to be the best version of Tyson Fury stepping into that ring on Saturday night. I think now looking at the fight itself, I'm expecting it to be extremely cagey, especially the first six rounds. I expect Fury to try to keep it a distance, jab, a bit like he did with the Klitschko fight, keep himself at danger. A lot of people were saying he can't do that anymore. His ankles can't handle it, his legs have gone, etc. But I'm not buying that. I think he did what he did against Wilder because he worked out quite early on that Wilder wasn't really hurting him, although he did have the power to hurt him but what Wilder couldn't do was box so I think he went in there knowing that he could just dominate him up close if he goes too close to Usyk I think there is that element of danger that he can get caught with shots so I think he'll try to keep it extremely safe especially in the first six rounds in those early stages I wouldn't be surprised to see some underhand tactics a lot of leaning a lot of holding a lot of clinching from the bigger guy trying to wear down and 
antagonise Usyk a little bit, get him off of his rhythm. What we do have in this fight, which makes it really intriguing and really difficult to predict this second half of the fight, is two guys in there that can make changes and the necessary adjustments during the fight itself. A lot of guys can't do that. They go back, they watch the tape, they fix themselves up for the rematch. These two guys can make adjustments live on the night when it actually matters. So depending how the first half of the fight goes will determine who needs to make the adjustments and how the second half of the fight will play out. With that being said, I do think this fight's going to be extremely difficult to score. I don't see their styles blending very well. I think it could get really ugly and boring, especially in the first six to eight rounds. I do only see that changing if it's clear and obvious that someone's trailing going into those championship rounds, which I don't think it will be. So I do fear that that will leave this fight open for the controversial draw that I did touch upon earlier. And with a immediate rematch clause in this contract for the fight, that does open up a money-spinning trilogy if there were to be a controversial draw in this first fight. And that is my fear that in a boring fight, they will take the easy option and say that this undisputed heavyweight championship fight will end in a controversial draw.